<laughs> and away we go. All right, let's um I'd like to I'd like to ask your advice for a few uh, a few different types of people who are, who may be listening. Uh, first of all, if uh, what would you like to say to newly discovered NPs that may be listening? If you just made your discovery in the past few days or past week or so, um, you're still in a state of shock, probably. Um, you are not sure how much to uh, invest your, your time and energy into thoughts about it. You'd probably try to dismiss it and think, you know what, I, I don't want to, I don't want to think about that right now because it's too hard, too painful, or you might be obsessing with it. Um, just know that this is definitely very similar to a trauma, like having a car accident, uh, for example, or having a sudden death in the family that was unexpected. This is like a death. Um, you deserve time to retreat and it's really good for you to retreat into yourself and to just don't make any major, uh, life-changing decisions uh, during this time. I think that when we are going through such a traumatic event and we are still trying to process what, what just hit us, what just blindsided us, uh, we can make some decisions that later we may regret and go, gosh, I wish I'd waited on that. So I think it's really important uh, not to make any sudden de decisions to just pack up and move across country or, or, uh, or quit your job or, or whatever. Uh, it's important or maybe or or maybe even confront new family members or old family members right. i mean exactly. just take a yeah back. give yourself a great grace period right you, you just need to pause and breathe and and i could not express this strongly enough um find our group go to dna go on facebook and under groups do a search for dna uh npe uh, if you do a search specifically for npe gateway all one word n p e is not parent expected gateway do a search for that. That's our screening uh, room where our admins will screen you and put you into the appropriate group. It could be for you. It could be for a parent of an NPE, a sibling of, a, of an NPE, a uh, cousin, uh, co-worker. We have a place for anybody who wants to learn and to bring about awareness in the NPE community and to, and to uh, get the tools that you need to heal. But especially for those specifically like us who are the NPEs, it's important that you surround yourself with people who are going to be supportive of you. So if you just made this real realization, get on Facebook, find us, come into our haven of, of it's a sanctuary of peace and support and love and acceptance and compassion. That's what you need right now. And, um, and we can also help you navigate through what actions, if any, you should take based on your particular experience. If, if there's not a sense of urgency, if you don't have a parent that's you know dying or whatever, then you need to take a minute and breathe and just okay. Well, let me get get my feet on the ground again before I take any action. Um, so I think that's the first thing I would say is that you need to be surrounding yourself with people who understand. And another yeah, point about our group, if I could, Brad, is that um, for somebody who's on the outside looking in that's listening to to this and wondering about our group, we treat our group very similarly to the way Alcoholics Anonymous treats their organization. Anything that happens in our group stays in our group. No one is allowed to share anything outside the group that is personal, that identifies you, whatever. They're, you're not allowed to, to do screenshots and share them outside. Um, any if, if we're ever suspicious of something like that happening, if we ever see any evidence that somebody has done a breach in privacy like that, they would be immediately removed. But the blessing in all of this is in the three years that our group has been together, I've yet to see anybody do any damage of exposing someone else to the public. Um, it's because everyone that's in there has been carefully screened and we're through all the gateway. In that's through what the gateway is for. The gateway is a, is a screening station. It's a temporary stop on your way to yeah. the private you will be escorted in by an admin once you've been approved. Um, so there's a great deal of respect among every member. I have never experienced a situation where you have 7,000 total strangers from 44 countries on six continents all together in the same spot who say, I hear you, I see you, I understand you, and I'm going to honor your privacy because I know you're gonna honor mine. We've had people come into the group who have been panicked because they recognize somebody else that's in the group and they go, oh my gosh, they're gonna know that I'm an MBE. Well, guess what? They're there for a reason too. And that's they're right. counting privacy and your respect of their privacy as much as 
you are counting on theirs. So just understand that we do treat our organization very similarly to AA. Um, everyone has a great deal of respect for each other's privacy. Um, it is a safe place to vent, to share your, your rawest thoughts, emotions. People share such incredible vulnerabilities that they would never share anywhere else. And they're doing it with 7,000 strangers. And I am in awe of how well it all works. But it's yeah. definitely that I would strongly recommend to anybody who's just making this discovery. It's incredibly empowering, as we discussed a little while ago. One of the, and one of the testaments of that is how often I see people say that they've been in the group for a while, and they've read other people's stories, and they finally have the, the, the strength to share their own story. And that, that shows the power, the evolution of, of, of the empowerment of, of sharing that vulnerability with the group um, to where people were able to process through just being there, just reading other people's stories to elevate to another level where they finally uh, could tell their own story. And that's, that's amazing in its own right. And isn't it so cathartic for each person to emotionally vent all these emotions and feelings and thoughts and fears and anxieties and angers and they're all able to put this into this post sharing what their experience has been and don't you know that they go away from that after they see all these comments saying oh i feel so i feel what you're feeling i went through something similar and this is what happened with me and this is what how i worked through it don't you know that they'd sleep better that night absolutely it's probably one of the mm -hmm. get a good night's sleep after they're able to let all that out it's very cathartic 